Hello, it's Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, we finally have some good news. Um, the trailers for the Punky Brewster reboot and the Saved by the Bell reboot came out yesterday. Um, or I saw them yesterday, um, last night. And they actually look good. I was shocked. Uh, <laughs> we've had so many bad reboots and ill-conceived Ill reboots that it's kind of a shock when you see something that is just... Um, just makes sense. I mean, they've just taken, we'll start with Punky, they've just taken Punky's story and they've just concluded it, taken it to its natural conclusion. She's now um, a mother of three herself, um, and I'm guessing the show is going to be about her struggle to raise three children on her own um, with the background of being an orphan and not having had parents of herself, so for herself. So it's, it's, should, I imagine it's going to be funny, but it's also going to have a lot of real moments about parenting and... I just can't see it being bad. Just, there's no alarm bells going off. Nothing is worrying me about it. Um, the actress looks good. The 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 other children, everything everything suits. There's nothing out of the place. They didn't they didn't turn a trans. They didn't do anything for woke points. They didn't do anything political. It just seems like just a logical progression of the character from the '80s, and that's all anyone who's a fan of a classic series wants is just to see what happened to that character where did their life go and for it to basically be nice not like Picard or something where it's just abysmal and everyone's life was miserable and ruined and so it's just so nice for it not to go that way um Saved by the Bell is pretty much the same uh basically Zach is now a politician um my poor Gossier 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 I can't never pronounced his last name. I didn't even know how it was spelt until today. Um, he's back as Zach Morris. Uh, he's playing a politician and due to some political scandal he has to merge um, two, high, two high schools together. Um, one from a poor area and one from a better area. So um, I guess the new Bayside High in California is um, a combination of two different schools and there's going to be a lot of I mean that's where the drama of the series is going to come from. There's going to be these clashing um, socio-economical issues just that'll be part of the story so it's got its own thing it's like the original had its you know so <laughs> I'm just in, I'm just happy <laughs> I don't have anything to complain about it just the preview looks good um they've got um Mario Lopez back and Elizabeth Berkeley back as um <laughs> Jesse Spano was uh this is Berkeley's character. What was uh, Mario Lopez's character? Ah, Slater, Slater. Um, he was my favourite because he was the cutest. Um, I didn't, I didn't really like Zach. He was blonde. I wasn't into white guys or blonde guys. Um, and Mario looks exactly like he did. That's the really scary thing in the preview. And um, God, uh, Jimmy Fallon did a reunion uh, about five years ago, four years ago, of the cast, uh, pretending that he went to. Um, uh, what was it, Bayside High, and they had them all back playing their characters as teenagers, and Mario was the only one who actually looked the same as he did in the show. Everyone else looked 20 years older, and it's freaky. Um, I don't know if he's had a lot of work done or if it's just good genes, um, but um, he's back and he's playing, he's now the gym, um, the, the teacher of the, in the gym, and he's, um, like, it's basically, they're the parents, and we're dealing with the kids now of them, which is the natural progression because, you know, these people all grow up and become adults and then they have to deal with adult issues and the only way to sort of have a young audience, but you also, also get young and old audience. You get the old fans who are now parents themselves and then you get younger fans who want to see the kids stars now. I don't know who any of the stars in the new show are. Um, there's someone called Dexter Darden, um, Josie Tota, I can't pronounce their names. Um, Mitchell Hogue is playing Mac, who is um, Zach's son. Um, he's blonde, of course, looks just like, um, John Paul, Mark Paul, Mark Paul. God, I did watch the show, okay, I just wasn't a huge fan, I don't actually remember everything about it, um, but I did enjoy watching it back in the day, and I'm glad that they're not destroying it, they haven't turned, they, they just have, they haven't gone work on it, they just are just progressing, it's going to have its own modern elements, and that's fine, because the original elements are there and they're just progressed naturally and that's how all of these reboots and all of these sequels and continuations should go. Just take off from where the show ended and just work out where it would be 20-30 years later 
and just do that. You don't have to attach some political agenda. You don't have to just do some extreme thing. It's like so many of these studios are just afraid to just give fans what they want and just to do the logical thing because that's just too easy. They have to mess it up and make it complicated. So I'm just glad these two shows, which are both coming through NBC's Peacock streaming service, um, they just look fine. They look fun. I'm sure I'm going to watch them. And it's not going to be like 90210 where nobody was happy. If you didn't see that, they basically brought back the actors to play versions of themselves. So you didn't get a reality series. You didn't get the continuation of the characters, although supposedly we were going to see the show within the show later and actually see how the characters... But we didn't get any of that season one. It was cancelled for season two. So no one got what they wanted. No one was happy. They did try to do 90210 with... Um, a couple of the cast coming back, playing themselves later and having a new modern cast, which kind of worked, but um, they didn't focus enough on the original characters. So it didn't work on one level. I think it probably worked as a drama on its own, but um, as far as a reboot or a fan sort of sequel or whatever, it didn't really. But um, And there's been so many examples of sequels that did not work. Um, sorry, reboots that should have been sequels. Um, and, I mean, the only one that gets any credit is Cobra Kai, and I wasn't a big um, Karate Kid fan and I haven't seen Cobra Kai so I can't speak for whether it actually works but I just hear it's great because they didn't change anything they just continued the story in its natural progression and the fans are happy and new audiences who wouldn't know any different were enjoying it so um, I'm just going to be glad this is happening it's not going to be a Dookie Hauser where they totally ruined it I did a video on that I'm not going to go into that but they just they could have done oh well, I guess I'll talk a little bit they could have done Dookie Hauser as an adult with a child that is now a genius that is going through the same things he did or have an adopted child if they want to have a different race involved because um, the new Dookie Hauser is a Asian girl so he w presumably would have, been, have to have been I guess he could have married an Asian lady and had a, she could have been mixed race there was nothing to state she was yeah they could have done it that way or they could have had him be gay like you know be woke and be having be gay like he really is and have a adopted child as well so there are lots of ways they could have done it where they could have had the same character the same situations but have the actual doogie hauser in the show somehow or maybe he's just she's working for him so he has he's sort of been had this new sort of young genius pass off onto him because that was his you know life experience so there's so many ways they could have done that and they didn't and this is normally what they do lately with reboots or sequels or what should be sequels they just make a mess out of it so I'm just happy I'm happy that this looks good I'm looking forward to seeing them and I'm making a video not complaining about how bad and wrong something is which is so nice and different um, but I'm gonna go because I sound bad I feel bad um, I'm not feeling well it's 2 a.m. but I did just want to do a video about a video about this because I just want to talk about because I'm happy about it Okay, feel, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think of it, if you're feeling as hopeful as I am. Um, yeah, thanks, bye.